So you want to be a crochet pattern tester. First of all, that's so awesome that you want to help another crocheter make sure that their pattern is absolutely perfect and ready to be sold or given away. And also you'll get a nice little free pattern for yourself as you help them. It's a win-win in my book. So you're probably watching this video because you want to know what you should think about before you even apply to be one. Don't worry, it's a nice, really short video. I'm going to go through what I think you should know before you become a pattern tester. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is make sure that you know how to read crochet patterns. So the last thing that you want to be doing while you're pattern testing is trying to learn how to read patterns, AKA how the rows and rounds work, how to know all the variations for all the stitches like SC, DC, HDC, BL, TR, all the different abbreviations. You want to know how to read all of that so that you can point out if something's hard to read because you already know how to read patterns. You don't want to be learning while you're in it, especially because most pattern tests have a deadline. Most, if not all, have a deadline. And you want to want to at least have that under your belt, know how to do it. So when you jump in learning how to test, you can read straight through and help them figure out what might be wrong or right. And if you want to learn how to read patterns, there are so many free resources online, YouTube, all the things, or find a written pattern that has a video tutorial with it. I mean, shameless plug, I have some. Follow the written pattern as you watch the video tutorial and that will help you kind of learn how to read patterns. But practice makes progress because you don't want this to be you while you're pattern testing. Do you okay, should have learned to read patterns before this? Okay, okay, I'm so confused. What, what, what does this word mean? Two HTC and E to S T. Okay, maybe I can try and run with it. What is going on? I don't understand. Number two is pretty simple, but it doesn't always end up that way. Number two is making sure that you have time to crochet and pattern test for the designer that you're going to be testing for. It's too easy to think that oh, I can do it while you have three other orders or projects or gifts that you need to make within a certain amount of time and all of a sudden pattern testing becomes on the back burner. Make sure that when you're pattern testing that pattern is your priority because the designer most likely needs it by a certain date. So don't fill up your plate with all these different projects, focus on the pattern test and you should be good to go. All right, number three, it's helpful and so great to be active in the pattern testing chat if there is one of course. In the chat, there's probably going to be a lot of edits in there that are updating for the pattern, people putting in their input. It's good to keep up and see what's being updated and edited. I know I, did, I, know I just said that. <laughs> in the patterns, make sure that you're doing the pattern right in real time as it's being tested and all these things, basically. I'm not saying you got to go in there and be like, hey, girl, you know what just happened to me last night, blah, 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 blah. But you can go in there and say, hey, I found this problem or can you clarify this? I would just say check it, not every two seconds, but basically occasionally and consistently so you can make sure that you're up to date with how the pattern testing is going. Oops. So guys, number four is just to be honest if you can't finish the pattern test. I think that a lot of people might, that yarn dropped, people might get scared like, oh my gosh, I told them I could finish and now I can't. The world's coming to an end. It's okay. It's not that serious, but it's okay. But if you can't finish your pattern test, just contact your pattern designer and be like, hey, this is happening. You know, someone could have got hurt. You could have got hurt. You have to move. You might have something coming up. That's very, very important. That came out of the blue. Anything can happen. And as a human, all we can do is hope that, and they most likely will be very understanding of what's going on. But if you agreed that if you didn't finish the pattern test, that you would buy the pattern when it comes out, please do that. Don't take the pattern and run without providing the designer with anything. You're literally there to help them get the pattern perfect. But if you can't do that, just buy the pattern and you never know. The designer may be like, Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Blah, blah. It's happening in your life. You don't know until you talk with them, but just be honest. <laughs> don't try to be scared or hot. It's okay. You know, you're human. They're human and understanding should happen. <laughs> All right, so here we are at number five. And number five is optional depending on what your pattern designer wants. But I would say it's very helpful to learn how to take good pictures. <laughs> this is also good for the future of your crochet if you ever wanna make a business out of it. 
Learn how to take good pictures. If your pattern designer would like you, you know, to take some pictures so they can post you for product promotion or on their pattern um, listing, just, you know, try to take a good picture. Don't have a super cluttered background. Try to use natural lighting. That's always really great. It's always better than flash. And just, you know, make sure that it's a nice, clear, non-blurry picture. So find a nice blank background if you can, or go outside with a nice nature background. It's always a good idea. Get some nice, even um, sunlight or under a tree. Shade is really, really great when it's direct sun outside. But yeah, make sure you're not shaking the camera too much or place it down on something, have someone take it for you, use a tripod. But yeah, just try to get a really nice picture because they're gonna promote you and your work and they're gonna promote their own pattern. And it's awesome when they have even more pictures to share of their pattern um, made by someone else in different colors. You know, it could be a stuffed animal, you know, how you crochet it could be like, you know, different than the colors they use, etc., etc. It could be obviously a thousand different things. I always think of clothing, number one. But yeah, just try to take good pictures. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two or made you think about a thing or two before you go ahead on your amazing journey to be a pattern tester. If you want to see my first ever time pattern testing, check out this video. It's going to be here or here or here somewhere. Check that out next and have an awesome day, my crochet kings and queens. Bye. Just kidding. One more thing. If you want to join my pattern testing group, um, I have the link in the description. I'll try to put it in the comments too if you want to ever test out my patterns. Also, join my email list. I send out everything, discounts, pattern releases, everything through there. It's also in the description as well. Peace.